Anto recently launched the KT10, Clay Thompson's 10th signature shoe. The silhouette is basically a low top shoe with a sleeker look compared to most of Clay's shoes in the past, and it's loaded with Anto's top of the line tech. But there's actually another version of the Anta KT10, a high top version. But there's catch, and I've been told it's not releasing. Should this be released instead? Stick around and let's talk. Welcome back, this fresh pair. Smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, let's dive in. The man behind the design of the Anta KT-10 is York Yan. Based on what we know so far, York studied industrial design in Tianjin University of Science and Technology from 2006 to 2010. He then worked for Peak as a basketball shoe designer from 2010 to 2017 and from 2017 he began to work for Li Ning. And now York has become part of Anta. Other than those pieces of information, not much is known about York Yan outside of China. But what is certain is that he has over 14 years of experience as a basketball shoe designer with the Anta KT-10 being his latest design. But what intrigues me more is that he actually designed a high top version of the shoe apart from the low top that was just released. Let's have a look. So this is the unreleased high top version of the Anta KT-10. The thing that quickly stands out for me is the cuffed collar. The cuff is basically a padded band soon in and inside is the print KT-10 Voyage which is probably the name of the colorway. Apart from the cuffed collar, the high top version also has external cables glued on the upper that run from front to back. The cables are an obvious nod to the Golden Gate Bridge, but also possibly to one of the cable state bridges in Dallas, the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge according to one of the comments in a previous video. And unlike the low top version with a standard lacing setup, the high top version uses lace loops that are soon beneath a layer of synthetic reinforcement. Some would probably say that this high top version kind of resembles the Under Armour Future X Elite. In a way, the look of the upper does and of course both are high top silhouettes. Plus, there's this thing called recency bias, but that's another topic for another video. But even so, I actually like the look of this high top version. Of course, this is just my preference and yours could be different, which is completely fine. I think the shoe has good encore potential and for that reason alone, I think Anta should release this. But hey, that's just me. In the meantime, let me know what you think about this unreleased high top version of the Anta KT-10. Is this better and should it hit retail? Post your thoughts in the comment section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. This is Fresh Bird, thanks for watching. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs.